YouTube, what it do? Global CZ back in here, bro. Today, I'm gonna teach you all the ways to save money in Thailand, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Y'all know I keep it all the way 100, bro. So, I've been in Thailand for like two months, bro. I came here in like July, August, you feel me? And then I left and I came back. So, I really know this Thailand shit, bro. I've been to all the main cities in Thailand and shit, you feel me? So, a lot of people come here, bro, and they start spending a hell of bread because they think the currency is low, you feel me? They think, oh, I got 3,000, 6,000 baht on me and shit. And then they start spending money on shit on food on taxi on massage on bitches on shit like that everybody goes through that shit bro so when you get here bro first of all download grab app and bolt app those are the two apps that you need bro to get around it's like uber and lyft bolt is cheaper they have cars available they have taxis available and they have motorcycles available too so never pay for the street taxi and never pay for the minivan to get from one city to another hop on the big bus or hop on the train i've never taken the metro system in bangkok and shit but it's very confusing out there and the ubers be expensive because the traffic and stuff anywhere else though you can get in cheap rides bro less than two dollars all right, for food. Now, people spend a lot of money on food out here. It's really not that much. Like a plate of food, I'm spending no more than 60 baht, bro. Every time I eat a plate of food. You feel me? So you got to find your little restaurants and stuff. Most shit be like 200, 300 at a high-end restaurant and stuff. I don't eat there. I like my little local shit. Where I can have the lady cook my shit every time, bro. Know my order every time I come in there. A lot of people see those low prices. Oh, it's only $8. It's only $6 for this. But you're paying four or five times what you should be paying for that same meal, bro. A lot of tourists come here and they start splurging on drink or alcohol, on food. Then they burn out quick, bro. Because it's like Monopoly money in your hand, bro. It's like play money. You see a thousand, you see a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, and you're just spending that shit. Because 60, 70, bro, all that shit adds up quick as fuck in thailand bro bro you could spend 300 dollars in one week out here and not even realize because people are selling you shit all day bro people are hustling all day if you like street food bro you're buying that shit all day you're paying for taxi then you're paying for your hotel then you're paying for food again then you're paying for water you're paying for snacks you feel me then you're paying for a haircut then you massage buying weed you spending hella bread on weed and you're not even knowing it bro but never pay more than a hundred a gram for thai weed you feel me if you're paying for the other shit then do you bro they be charging like 30 20 dollars a gram for that shit for that imported weed but i'd be smoking the thai weed because i could roll up five grams for what 300 baht bro and that's like not even the lowest it'll go or you can get like 10 grams for 500 you can roll up whenever you want roll up wherever you want and not have to worry about pinching for weed and shit and when you buy your papers bro never buy your papers on the street just go to any 7-eleven or convenience store and buy your rug bro. they have them for like a dollar i mean on the street they'll sell it to you for like three dollars four dollars and also if you want to come out here and live or stay for a few months and you think about getting an apartment airbnb is the best option bro. you don't have to sign off on any dog it's already furnished and it's just a way easier process airbnb always discounts the longer your stay so it's like why wouldn't you just airbnb and not have to worry about shit not pay no bills and stuff instead of doing the whole apartment shit you can get a two-bedroom apartment for no more than 300 dollars out here bro. 400 dollars depending on what city you're in and most of the shit is like luxury man. so it's like not luxury but like it's not no beat down ass apartments like new york city and shit but you're living for what 200 300 dollars a month bro off rent which is what, 3600 a year? It's crazy, bro, that's ridiculous. $3,600 a year off rent. Not a month, bro, a year. So that's not even half of some people's fucking monthly rent in America. So yeah, if you're doing that Airbnb, if you want something real cheap, you feel me, you don't mind being around people. Jump in a hostel where you meet people and stuff. You just want somewhere to sleep and shower and stuff, you feel me? Hang out a little bit. But yeah, in Thailand, bro, they'll charge you for anything, bro. If you don't have no street smarts, you don't know the hustle, bro. People will charge you to come in the bathroom. People will try it, bro. They'll try your hand, you feel me? But if they can tell that you can see through that shit and you've been here long, bro, they, they won't do that shit to you no more, bro. Because I've been here for a while. I know every trick in the book, man. Niggas don't really try me like that. Another thing, bro. If you want to use your card out here, go to 7-Elevens and convenience stores. You'll get shit for the right price over there, bro. Because in the tourist areas, bro, they literally be selling the shit on the street that you can literally walk two minutes and go into 7-Eleven and get for like, what, three times less? But if you're a person that doesn't like getting cheated out your money and shit and doesn't like being duped, that's what I'm trying to speak for. But a lot of people literally don't care because it's Thailand, bro. Everything is going to be cheap compared to where we're from, the Western Hemisphere and shit. But like, cheap for us is not cheap for Thailand, bro. bro people here would never pay the prices that we paying for certain shit. They'll probably laugh at us, nigga. But I'm saying if you want to sustain, bro. Because if you're here for a week or two or three weeks, bro, you don't really care. If you're trying to, like, live here a little bit, not just be a tourist, be a traveler, bro, spending five times the price for everything every day, bro, is not, bro, 
you're gonna burn out. You should just save your ass home. But hey, that's just a few ways to save bread out here, man. Thailand is a beautiful country, one of the cheapest countries in the world for what you're getting. Don't even mention a woman. And also, get your international driver's license before you jump on a fucking moped out here. Because they are waiting to catch your ass and write your ass a fucking ticket, bro. I feel like that's the goal. Get people out here, rent motorbikes, rent cars, and they don't have an international driver's license. And then they get your ass with a ticket. But you could have just signed up for that shit, you feel me? But hey, man, Global TV, you out this bitch, nigga, bow. Came up out of dirty part, man. How the I made it out the friends. I don't do no wifey, don't do friends.